Hey guys, welcome back. Dog training tip Thursday today. Um, okay, so something that I often get asked about is how to get two dogs who don't know each other, who don't live together, or who potentially may live together to greet each other safely and in a way that's going to create um, a friendship eventually, hopefully. Um, so first of all, obviously you're doing this with two dogs who are already known to be social. This isn't a recommendation for dogs who aren't necessarily already friendly with other dogs. This is for dogs who are greeting for the first time, who want to become friends or live together potentially, but have no known history of any issues with other dogs, essentially. So the best way to do this is to meet somewhere that isn't either dog's household, so at the park or even just out the front on the street um, and somewhere that's just not in their backyard, essentially. What you're going to do then is just go for a walk. So you're not going to let them greet nose to nose. You're just going to go, hey, hey, going, walk. Now, as you walk, you're getting that momentum up and you're starting to move a little bit, which is going to really help them relax and get to know each other and be in each other's vicinity without necessarily going straight into grief. So as you're walking along, you can start off at a fair distance from each other and then get a little bit closer. As you're walking, they may try and sniff each other and check each other out. That's all good. That's exactly what you want them to do. So going for the walk diffuses the situation where they may come head to head and the intensity is quite high, the energy is quite high there and it's the most likely scenario that something could go south. Um, it also gives the you know one an opportunity to jump on the other one or push into them or bark or those sorts of things and sort of start out on the wrong foot. So this gives them the way to start out on the best foot possible so they can end up socialising towards the end of your walk. So you may find if you've got pretty social dogs, you don't need to walk very far for them to have made friends and gotten chilled out with each other, but it just diffuses the situation a little bit. So if, for example, like tomorrow I'm meeting up with a friend and her dogs and our dogs haven't met before, so what we'll do is we'll meet at the park, we'll get out of the car and we'll just go for a walk. And then as we get further along the walk, they can interact more, they can greet more and they'll probably end up playing together totally fine. So that's the goal by the end of the walk, but I'm not going straight in and going, look, be best friends straight away. I'm giving them the chance to get to know each other first. So I hope that helps um, a couple of people who are wanting to get their dogs out and be social with friends' dogs. Um, so let me know if you use it and how it goes. Bye.